On our journey towards understanding balance, one of the people I really wanted to talk to was Olivia Newton-John. Now, we're better to do that than in the hinterlands of Byron Bay at her amazing health retreat, Gaia. And I suppose for you, it's, I mean, you know, we're here talking about balance, which is really what's so important. Yeah. And you have such um, a busy life still today. I mean, you've had to go on tour again through yeah. the States. Um, how do you find the sense of balance? And I appreciate that, that coming back here and taking a breath is part mm. of that. But what's your recipe to finding balance for you? Um, finding balance for me is being in the moment and then taking that moment even if I only have 10 minutes to appreciate something and find beauty in something. And I find that if you stay present, then you don't worry too much about things all the time. I mean, there are, there, there's a time to worry about things and mm. figure, figure out solutions. But to be present and to have appreciation for stuff is how I kind of stay still. Yeah. And, and my husband and I live in Florida the other half of yeah, the time if yeah. we're not traveling. And so we have the ocean. And so the, the ocean and nature. Nature really is really my my healer and she is everywhere and you can find her everywhere mm. even on a city street there's a rose or something or a, a flower growing between the pavement there's beauty somewhere and there's a bird singing and there's a you know there's a sky and clouds are gorgeous whether it's rain or sun or whatever it is so i think that's how i find my balance but you know sometimes i get really really tired of course so you just have to say Look i'm going to in. lie down for an hour yeah. or i'm going to go have a massage or i'm going to have a swim i'm going to take that time for yourself it's really important do you think that's what you've learned though is to to actually have that cut through i think most women really suffer with with saying no and yeah. and you know they always put themselves last yeah. and and how hard it is to actually go no we're taking time out I was speaking to Danielle um, this morning, who was just amazing. Yeah, and, and fantastic teacher. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. And she, Gorgeous you know, woman. as you get <laughs> older, she's really sort of... Stop. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> Turn around. See, we're just embracing nature. It was a spider. He's gone. <laughs> He's just saying He's embracing the environment. He's saying hello. <laughs> but the thing I loved about her is, as, as she was just sort of saying, you know, you get to a certain point in your life where you just, you actually learn to say no. Yeah. Is that been really hard for you when did you figure that out yeah it took a long time I'm still learning it mm. but I'm much better at it now yeah. um, I think in in 92 when I had breast cancer what you were just saying was really apparent to me then is that as women even then I was worried about the band how's the band going to deal with I have to cancel my tour and how you know everybody else I was worried about everybody else and um, and you just found out you got <laughs> breast cancer hello hello you yeah, hello. have got to take care of you first yeah. it's like in an airplane when they say you know uh, when the oxygen thing falls out, put it on the child first. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I put it on yourself first and then take Each care child. of everyone else. That was a, that's a really good um, mm. example mm. of how we need to make sure we're all right so we can then take care of others. Because yeah. as women, we do always put everybody. It's part of our nurturing nature. It's part of us. But then when you have um, a, an illness or you're, not, or you're really tired and to stop you getting ill, you need to take time for yourself. It's yeah. really important. And I think this is the whole thing with balance is that there's a lot of people that don't focus on certain elements of their life. So yeah. so the kids and, and the family is important or work takes over. Yeah. Um, the physical side of it is, is, is important as well. And I suppose that physical thing is easy because, you know, without your health, you're nothing. And you know that oh, more than, than anybody. Yeah. Um, how do you, with your crazy schedule, you know, how do you sort of fit everything in? And I appreciate this morning you've been up doing yoga, but how do you make it all fit? Um, I just, if I can't do it first thing in the morning, luckily enough, because I'm back with super jet lag, I woke up so early I could do yoga. Just perfect. But if I'm, a, if I'm a, at home, if I'm in um, Florida right now, I will try and I'll make, I'll go, today sometime I need to get on the treadmill. I get on my bike sometimes. I just jump on the bike and go around the block. And it's just enough, you feel the wind in your face, you can hear the birds, you can, you know, just be out in nature for even 15 minutes. Right. That just gets me going. And I, if I do that three times a day, yeah. whenever yeah. I have a moment or I need to de-stress, I, I find that exercise for me is a really great de-stressor. Yeah, so and like I love that. It cuts yeah. through. Yeah. yeah.